is Bedtime Story. Oh, hello. I'm Anne-Marie. I love a good book, do you? I know a story about a little creature who loves books so much, he steals them. Would you like to find out what happens? Tonight's bedtime story is called The Snatcher Book by Helen Doherty and Thomas Doherty. One dark, dark night in Burrow Down, a rabbit called Eliza Brown found a book and settled down when a snatcher book flew into town. In every house, in every bed, a bedtime book was being read. Tales of dragons spitting flames, witches playing spooky games, pirates on the seven seas, princesses trying to sleep on peas. And every child in every bed listened hard to each word said. Eliza Brown, at number three, was reading quite contentedly. Her curtains opened, just a chink. She barely had a chance to blink. Her storybook just disappeared. Eliza found that very weird. The little owls on Mummy's lap were quite surprised to hear a tap against their bedroom window pane. Tap, tap. They heard the noise again. Before they'd even looked around, the book was gone, without a sound. The wind blew wild across the sky. The smallest squirrel heard a cry. What's that? she whispered to her dad. But then, and this was really bad, before they'd had a chance to look, she'd lost her very favourite book. And so it went, night after night. Books disappeared from left and right. Five books here and six books there. The shelves began to look quite bare. In Burrow Down, the rumours spread of book thieves under every bed. Eliza Brown, at number three, was keen to solve the mystery. She planned one night to lie in wait and use a pile of books as bait. Long hours passed without a peep. She'd nearly fallen half asleep. When suddenly, Eliza heard a flap of wings, a bat, a bird. Eliza saw a shadow loom, enormous, right across her room. What kind of monster could it be? Eliza thought, <laughs> you don't scare me. And yet her heart was beating fast. She'd have to face the thief at last. She threw the window open wide and shouted to the thing outside, Stop stealing all our books right now! Just give them back! I don't care how! Um, I'm sorry, came a little voice. I really am. I had no choice. Eliza looked down in surprise. She couldn't quite believe her eyes. So, who are you? And what's your name? The creature hung its head in shame. He mumbled with a mournful look. I'm just a little snatcher book. Eliza nodded solemnly. She sat the creature on her knee. You can't just come and help yourself to every book on every shelf. A tear rolled from the creature's eye and softly he began to cry. I know it's wrong, but can't you see? I've got no one to read to me. Eliza sighed. He looked so sad. If he just had a mum or dad to read him stories every night, well, then he might behave all right. That very night, they hatched a plan. And so the Snatcher book began to give back all the books he'd nicked. Eliza Brown was very strict. And trying hard to prove himself, he stacked them neatly on each shelf. And when he'd made his full amends, Eliza called on all her friends and told them how he'd worked all night to turn a wrong into a right. And now, each night in Burrow Down, 
as darkness falls upon the town. In every house, in every bed, a bedtime book is being read. And if you take a closer look, you might just see the snatcher book perched happily on someone's bed, listening hard to each word said. That story was called The Snatcher Book. Now it's time for you to settle down and go to sleep. And who knows? Maybe The Snatcher Book will come and visit you one day. Sweet dreams. <laughs>